Central Coast living can lead you down some sticky paths, including the most famous alleyway on the Central Coast, Bubblegum Alley. It's, I think it's amazing. I never would have imagined somewhere like this could have existed. It's really quite a sight. There's a kind of like fruity smell in the air. <laughs> yeah, kind of. And you can see who's been here before with like the business cards. It's called one of the strangest yet most popular landmark attractions in Slow. You can see years and years worth of chewed pieces of gum that people have mushed onto the walls of Bubblegum Alley. Tucked away off High Guerra between Broad and Garden Streets, you'll often see tourists taking photos in front of pieces of gum or like that child touching it. Visit Slow says the alleyway became popular in the early 1970s and has only been cleaned twice. Just saying that disgusts me. Other tourists I spoke with felt the same way, but it's just one of those attractions you have to see firsthand. This is the first time I'm visiting Slow, so I, I feel like it's appropriate because it's a college town and it's something kind of fun and funky okay. and a little gross, and that describes college too, I think. Spot on. Slow City officials say you should stop by and leave your mark. In case you were wondering, yes, it's free and open any time of day, fresh bubble gum not included. So if you've been there, done that with Bubblegum Alley, and you want some fresh ideas for the weekend, there's a big football game on Saturday, Cal Poly at home against Colgate University. It'll be shown on ESPNU, so let's fill up those stands. Kickoff is at 4.05. Sunday, stop on by the Village of Arroyo Grande for the summer concert series. The Starlight Dream Band is a big band jazz and swing style.